Hey guys, it's uh, Tanner Stein one here, and today Jared isn't with me. He's out with an injury for this week, so I'm gonna be teaching you how to do finger whips. All right, so step one of finger whips will be to find either a bank or a quarter that you're comfortable with. And you'll wanna start by jumping up and grabbing your deck like this. It, it seems to help me when I learned how to do it. It just teaches you to take your hand off your bars and put it on your deck. So I'm going to show you an example. Step two, finger whips, uh, will be once you got the grabs, uh, you'll want to find a comfortable place where you want to hit the deck with your hand. I try to hit the deck uh, with my hands, usually in between the palm of my hand and the middle of my fingers. But it's really all preference. It really all depends what happens. You don't want to stub your fingers on a finger whip like I have. It hurts. It hurts a and lot. Is Jared behind the camera? And I hit my finger whips like right there. Like the tip of my fingers kind of. But don't get your fingernails in the grip tape because that hurts. Don't get your fingernails in the grip or tape either. I hit mine right here, right on the fingertips. I'll do one. And I'll do some examples for you. Another tip for doing finger whips, uh, if you know how to tail whip really well, and if you get a decent enough air out of the bank, you'll be able to, once you do the finger whip, you'll be able to catch it like a tail whip, and that'll make it easier to land on. I keep thinking you'll come on back to And that's been How to Finger Whip Flat by Tanner Steinwand. Make sure you subscribe to Jared's channel, which this is going on. And tune in next week for our next trick. I'm very tired. What's Thanks for watching. What's next week's trick going to be? Next week's bar trick whip, is going to be bri flips. Tune in next week for bri flips. Thanks for watching.